In this video, I'll go through four of the claims made by the Remain campaign. First, that Brexit would lead to a loss of 3 million jobs. This is something Nick Clegg has said in the televised debate with Nigel Farage. The figure comes from a report produced back in 2000. The report identified that up to 3.2 million people are associated with the exports of goods and services to other EU countries. The report goes on to say there is no a priori reason to suppose that many of these jobs, if any, would be lost permanently if Britain were to leave the EU. Further research has also been done by the Institute of Economic Affairs, which concluded that we can say with certainty that 3 to 4 million jobs are not at risk if the UK leaves the EU. There may well be net job creation, or a range of other possible outcomes which should be debated rationally. So let's be clear on this, that's a straight up lie from Nick Clegg. Next, that we are not big enough to go it alone. We are the fifth biggest economy in the world. By way of example, everyone gets that Russia is big and influential. It definitely is geographically big, but in terms of its economy, we are 60% bigger. In case you struggle to visualize percentages, imagine a five foot tall person stood next to an eight foot tall person, and we are told that we are too small. Next, that if we left, no one would trade with us. Ridiculous. We make up 20% of the EU's economy. Germany has a 30 billion pound trade deficit with us. They need us more than we need them. In fact, we could sign more trade deals. At the moment, the EU has very few deals in place with other countries. Here is a graphic from Brexit the movie, which I really recommend you watch on YouTube if you haven't already. Leaving would give us the opportunity to get more in place. Also, more than half of our current exports go outside the EU and that figure is rising every year. The last one I'll address here is that UK citizens living abroad would have to go home. No, that's simply a lie. No one is proposing that at all. You might notice that there are people that come from outside the EU currently living in both UK and on the continent. No one is proposing to deport people. The arguments for staying in are paper thin. If you prod them, they will fall apart. However, if you haven't got the time, just remember what people used to say. To so you still believe we either. should join the Euro? No, I think we, if we're not members of the Euro and nobody's proposing that we should be... Well, you we were proposing do, we should be. Uh, Indeed, I was arguing for Indeed, it. Indeed, economic... only a couple of years ago, you claimed it had been a tremendous success. Uh, uh, Jeremy, can, can, this is a very important point it for the here and now. It is an important point. Not, not ten years ago. No, no, this is ten now. years ago. No. This is two years ago no. when you said the euro had been a tremendous success no. and we could not stay out of it indefinitely. The same people arguing to stay in the EU were completely wrong about the euro. Also, not too long ago, leaving was not seen as total oblivion, as they now say it must be. Indeed, Cameron ruled nothing out. If we've got a Europe that isn't growing, a European Union that isn't working, migration arrangements that don't work for countries like Britain, we've got a problem. And I believe in confronting and dealing with problems and you're, rather than just and you're prepared uh, putting to go them, into a uh, referendum if you don't get what you want. You, you will never say these words, but are you prepared to campaign for us to leave the EU if you don't get what you well, want? What I've said is, yes if, I, if no, I don't get, no, no, if I don't get what I want, I rule nothing out. But if we can't reach such an agreement. And if Britain's concerns were to be met with a deaf ear, which I don't believe will happen, then we will have to think again about whether this European Union is right for us. And as I've said before, I rule nothing out. If the world was going to collapse with Brexit, then why would David Cameron not rule it out? Indeed, why would he allow a referendum at all? Don't let them scare you. Vote for democracy. They're just lies. Incredible. She calls them credible forecasts that we could lose up to 10% of our GDP if we vote to leave. I mean, isn't this getting ridiculous? 10%. So it would be more serious than the, the great crash of 2008, which didn't take 10% off us. More serious than the Great Depression. More serious than the First World War. I mean, what? More serious since the Romans landed on the South Coast. I mean, what? 10% of GDP. 